What's up, everybody? It's easy. Easy Street Game. Got two new stages in Adventure. Each come with a new war pattern. Pretty cool stuff. We're going to start off with a floating island, and we're going to kind of discover each one quickly. Floating island, you're not going to be able to get through this with the same partners as you were before. Uh, if you remember Cave, Cave was the most challenging island that we had so far, and it had all the Red Berserkers that would team up on you. These are much more difficult, especially in Purgatory stage. So you're going to have to use your best. Uh, probably need level 40 heroes to, to beat Purgatory in either one, both the Floating Island and the Magic Island. Now, the first one, the Floating Island, you get the Lion War pattern. When when you beat the, the whatever stage or whatever floor it is, you get the Lion War pattern. And what that is, is a set of two gives you 8% team attack. So we're going to have to use the war patterns a little bit differently than we have in the past because they're not giving us enough of a bonus to really make a big impact by themselves. But I'm going to I'll explain it a little more with the next war pattern cuz it also is a set of two for a fairly low percentage. Um there is a way that I think you can make a big impact on your team um just by combining your team members and the war patterns. So it's going to have to be a little more um you're going to have to think outside the box a little bit and you're going to have to kind of progress that as a team instead of just as individual uh, partners so now if you see here I've been using much higher ranked partners than normal I have one level 40 and I believe I'm still upgrading a couple of them at three and four star and then I have one five star the the red guard of earth that's uh, she's at five star but I think at level 20 in this video here in this replay I believe you'll get through the first two levels with without level 40 partners but I think once you get to the to the purgatory level in floating island you'll probably need at least one elite level partner in order to get through it uh, but nothing like the next stage which uh, we're about to show you the next stage just want to show you a brief glimpse of floating island you'll see a lot more a lot different partners a lot uh, you know a lot a lot different than in the past here we've got another one-on-one -on -one, kind of like last video this is kind of a unique look uh, this is actually uh, wicked from three to three he's he's sent me a couple of uh, the, these solo matches this one right here is on a level one Ian versus the green demon killer first time I've seen the green demon killer solo any of the heroes or any of the lonely warriors Again, I'm sure. I'm sure they have. I just haven't seen it yet. Kind of fast forward through a lot of that. Okay, so going into the Magic Field Island, it, this is this first level in Purgatory got much more difficult than anything you've ever seen in any of the adventures before. Uh, the Red Scarecrow, as seen on the right here, as a normal Red Scarecrow, once he gets to the third level of Awakening. He, he gets to be a lot more tough uh, It's hard for me to tell if they were using the stats from the third awakening For these level 43 red scarecrows they, they use doomed doomed is a uh, one of the curse uh, Attacks that they use and that's the one that has you, you can see the the cloud over my whole team right here and They, they also use Thor's curse and I believe Now if, <laughs> if you just watch this interrupt myself the second that they have doomed over the partners, I believe it's three levels or three rounds that they get. And after the third round, the doomed will strike with the lightning strike. Um, and it can be devastating. I've got to the third level, uh, the third screen, third level, whichever, uh, third floor, I don't know what you call it. Uh, and I, I managed to survive to the third, but then as soon, I think there's the uh, Thor's curse. Okay, so what they're doing is they're using doomed, and that's the actual attack that they're using. But then it's putting Thor's curse over each one of the partners, and I, I don't know if that's just an advanced version of Doomed. Uh, it's kind of complicated to uh, to explain, probably because I don't understand it myself. <laughs> if you read the description, you don't see anything about Thor's curse. I don't believe you do, at least. And um, 
but but they definitely use it. You can see it in the red in, in the white writing if you slow it down from level three, which is what we all play on, to the first speed. And you see there, they just got the two of the partners just got the lightning strike to death, and the both the nomad and, and uh, the berserker they both have like plus twenty thousand hit points, so they didn't go down the, on the first strike. But they don't survive much longer. But now, if you look here, okay, that's Thor Thor's curse again on the blue nomad, and he has full health, still full health, going into the third, the three of three, and he just has no chance at all living through what they put, what, what they are about to do to him. So using doomed, I guess doomed and Thor's curse is the same attack because they they're they're casting doomed, and over that's that's what they're casting but then they're putting thor's curse over th uh your players your partners and that's what and that's what really kills them now they each attack and as they're attacking you haven't been hit by thor's curse yet so now uh blue gnome has been hit three or four times berserk has been hit three or four times to weaken him almost to death nomad's just been struck by lightning Berserk has been killed by lightning, and now the Nomad is not going to live through this next volley of four attacks. I did that many, many, many times. Finally did beat it, before we get into this last stage. Finally beat it with uh, a red, the red daggers, which has that 41% resistance as his leader skill. And that that helped not land that, that, um, that debuff on you so bad. That's a debuff that they're putting on you, is the Thor's Curse. So that helped a lot, and uh, then I used Red Nomad and Blue Nomad and the Catfish Fighter. That's how I finally beat that stupid level. <laughs> now this is the last stage in the Magic Field Island. You get to see uh, some of the Green Berserkers in action. Green Berserkers use that freeze. Um, it's a freeze. Uh, it's kind of like the uh, the scream, and, but it, but it can freeze your players. It can also da just damage them. Um, much stronger than you'd think uh, at level what is it 40 something 49 40 something I can't read it but a uh, lot stronger than your normal green berserker even at level 40 we can't really get our, our heroes as strong as the, as the opponents can because we can't go over level 40 now granted they are not at third awakened level that they don't awaken our opponents if, if they did that then I don't see how we, we can get through three stages of them now, having the right team for this last floor is really important. Um, what, what I had was I had a healer, which was the blue colonel, and she's not fully, she's not full leveled yet. She's level 28 or something like that. Um, plus, you have a team attacker, which is the blue black shaman. Uh, he damages the whole team. He also can freeze the whole, or uh, stun the whole team. And then I have the catfish fighter, which adds a shield, and the blue nomad, which the, this blue nomad I have the E and War pattern on, which kind of enhanced his n normal ability, which is invincibility. So every time he attacks, he gets his he gets his normal bonus when he attacks, plus the E and War pattern bonus, which is about. Uh, so let's say he gets three thousand hit points back from his ability, then he'll get another fifteen hundred back from Ian. So that helps keep him alive. It doesn't have the hit points that you would get by using all hippo, so he doesn't have that plus twenty or thirty thousand hit points. But he's getting back a little more per attack. I still don't know which is better. I haven't really faced a lot of blue nomads uh, to c compare. Now, the, this is what I wanted to talk about. The Owl War Pattern. Instead of two, 10% team resistance. So again, just like the last with the 8% attack, uh, it's not really a big impact on you uh, for 10% resistance. But I was, I was talking to... The war chief, and I believe it's 385, uh, goes by the name of Sponge, along with several other names. But um, he was planning on changing his whole team and putting one set of the owl war pattern on each one of his team members. So he'll have four sets, which will give his entire team a plus 40 resistance. And then, if you wanted to add to that, you could use a partner like the red uh, daggers, which gives the 41% resistance. In addition to the 40% you would get if you used one set of owl in each of your partners so this kind of changes the way you would build your partners uh, most of the time we think of them as as the individuals 
Uh, now, granted, we will combine them with with other partners to enhance it themselves and enhance each other. But this is more of a you have four that have owl for one reason, and that's to use together and get the forty percent bonus on the resistance. Now, maybe you can use uh, owl on more than four partners, on eight or nine partners, and then you can make different teams of those four. Uh, but I think that in order to use something like Owl War Pattern that only gives that 10%, I think you're going to have to use it on more than one partner. I don't, I don't know if you'd want to use all six pieces of Owl. Although I have seen all six pieces of Rabbit in the past, which is also uh, resistance, I believe, 20%. So, um, interesting concept. I haven't tried it myself. Um, I, I do have Owl on one partner now, and I know that I'm going to be building more with Owl on it. I, I've just now started to be able to beat this last level. Took me uh, like 30 tries. <laughs> I don't know if I should be ashamed of that or not. <laughs> to get through the first level of Purgatory, didn't have the right the right combination of heroes to do it. Finally got the Blue Colonel during this last event, and once she was up high enough, that she was able to keep to keep the team healed well enough to get through it. If you have uh, to get through the first stage of the Magic Field, I, I'm thinking someone like uh, Jello that has invincibility for the first. Uh, that first round or um, maybe even the bird shaman who who is a, an effective debuffer that's the first one that comes to mind I'm, I'm sure there's other partners that debuff your, your team effectively you definitely have to get rid of the Thor's curse if you're gonna try to survive because even strong partners can only withstand one or two cur curses at, at, before they get pummeled by it I had all four of my partners at full health going into the last round and then I had three of them hit me with the cur curse at one time, and none of them withstood three uh, Thor's curses back to back to back. So kind of discouraging. <laughs> Even with level 40 heroes, I didn't li didn't live through it. But finally, did find the right got resistance on the the team leader, and that that got me through it. So a couple of uh, pointers from the one that failed at it 40 times. <laughs> don't know if that means <laughs> don't listen to easy. I don't know. Here's a couple tips for the new adventure islands. This is not a place to farm for soul. I, I would still go to forest and to, to go soul farming. You just don't you don't get enough of the war patterns to sell these war patterns. You'll need level 35 plus for the floating island, and you'll need elite max partners to win the magic field purgatory, not just six stars. And we kind of went through that at, at, earlier in the video. And also pay close attention to the skills of the enemy teams. Because you may want to use these partners if you can uh, somehow acquire them and get them all the way up to max third awakened uh, that Thor's curse or something something else for, tips for the new war patterns these are team abilities on both and uh, in my opinion one set of owls is not enough use the same patterns on the whole team to get the best results I know we haven't really done that in the past but I think that we're gonna see that now with, with these war patterns Finally, clan leaders, you might be able to use these new levels in adventure and these new war patterns as a as a tool to teach some of the newer players how to use the different war patterns, how to use resistance war pattern, how to get through these harder levels. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Got a lot more coming out. I'm so far behind on the partners. I uh, don't know what to do, but got them coming out soon. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody.